The United States takes a whole-of-government approach to protecting and preserving global cultural heritage. Through the U.S. Cultural Heritage Coordinating Committee, 16 U.S. government agencies led by the Department of State work together to disrupt the looting and illegal trade of international cultural property while also promoting the lawful exchange of cultural property for cultural, educational, and scientific purposes. We recognize that respecting global cultural heritage is a means of showing respect to people of many different countries, cultures, and backgrounds while honoring the multicultural roots of our own society. More importantly, attitudes towards cultural property have evolved in the United States. The U.S. government recognizes that returning cultural objects to their country of origin is simply the right thing to do. The U.S. Embassy remains committed to working with our partners in Turkey and in the United States at the federal, state, and local levels to raise awareness about international cultural property protection. Through these cooperative efforts, it is our hope that future generations will be able to learn from and admire the treasures left behind by our forebearers. Protection of cultural heritage, prevention and combating illicit trafficking of cultural property worldwide is a shared responsibility of the international community. Looting is a crime and can fund criminal networks. Combating looting requires strong cooperation between countries, just like the one between the United States and Turkey. With friendship, dedication, courage, honor and commitment, Conversations between the United States and Turkey started almost 15 years ago on how to further the cooperation on protection of cultural heritage. It has been a long journey involving Mission Turkey, State Department's Cultural Heritage Center specialized in the protection of cultural heritage, Turkey's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Culture, Directorate of Cultural Assets and Museums, and Department of Combating Illicit Trafficking, as well as American and Turkish law enforcement officials, experts and academics. Finally, as a result of all these consultations, the United States and Turkey signed a bilateral cultural property agreement on January 2021 at a public ceremony held at the Museum of National Anatolian Civilizations in Ankara. Well, in January of 2021, the United States and Turkey signed a bilateral cultural property agreement that has really laid the the, the background uh, for the cooperation that we've seen. Our ministry has established exemplary cooperation between the U.S. Manhattan District Attorney's Office and the Homeland Security Intelligence Unit, especially in the last three years. Our ministry also contributes significantly to the investigations carried out in the field of historical artifacts smuggling in the USA by providing evidence and scientific data about the belonging of artifacts to our country. This agreement was signed by the State Department under the U.S. law implementing the 1970 Convention on the Means of Prohibiting and Preventing the Illicit Import, Export and Transfer of Ownership of Culture Property. Uh, in January 2021, we had our bilateral agreement uh, on preventing illicit trafficking of cultural objects. And since then, the collaboration between two countries in this regard increased enormously. It is referred to as Culture Property Agreement in short. This agreement has laid the foundation for our cooperation today. This agreement is designed to prevent looting, illicit trafficking of cultural artifacts, and to help ensure that precious art and antiquities are returned to their rightful place. The agreement entered into force on March 24, 2021, and U.S. import restrictions were published on June 16, 2021. There's incredible stories about how a lot of this came to be uh, and about how these uh, pieces have been put back together. It is indeed one of the important tools that two countries use to prevent illicit trafficking of cultural property. You would probably ask what this agreement brings. The cultural agreement enables that 
any cultural property illegally trafficked from Turkey would be confiscated at the port of entry into the US and Turkish law of enforcement officials would be immediately notified thereof. Thanks to this cooperation in 2022 and 2023, 44 exceptional pieces in three groups have been returned to our country until today. The last 12 pieces were brought to our country as a result of a joint effort. Nine of the 12 pieces returned consist of artifacts confiscated with the scope of the investigation carried out on the Shelby White collection. The other three artifacts were confiscated with the scope of two further ongoing investigations related to the ancient city of Perge and the ancient city of Lubon. The common point the point of these artifacts is that each of them was obtained through illegal excavations and taken out of our country many years ago. This agreement has significantly strengthened cooperation between Turkish and US institutions and raised awareness around threats to Turkey's cultural heritage. Cooperation between the Manhattan District Attorney's Office Homeland Security Investigation Unit and the Turkish Minister of Culture and Law Enforcement Bodies is exemplary. They worked arm in arm, night and day, despite the time and procedural differences, and managed to bring back to Turkey the artifacts which were smuggled years ago. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has formed an antiquities trafficking unit that is made up of prosecutors, specialists, as well, as well as special agents with Homeland Security. So we are really grateful to the United States federal agencies, uh, specifically Homeland Security Intelligence uh, Office, as well as Manhattan District Attorney's Office for our recent return and restitution cases. Since 2021, 44 precious and unique cultural artifacts were returned home, including the statue of Septimus Severus, Perge Theater Head and Bubon Bronze Arm. Türk ve Amerika Birleşik Devletleri arasındaki imzalanan protokolle protokole bağlı olarak Türkiye'ye, Anadolu'ya ve Anadolu'ya ait eserlerin bir kısmı daha topraklarına kavuştu. Bu eserler arasında milattan önce 5. yüzyıldan milattan sonra 3. 4. yüzyıla kadar oldukça geniş bir yelpazede dağılan farklı tiplerde eserler iadesi sağlandı. Bu eserler sadece Anadolu için değil aynı zamanda dünya tarihine ışık tutan ve dünya tarihiyle ilgili sanat anlamında, kültür anlamında önemli veriler, bilgiler sunan eserlerdir. Ve uzun bir süre sonra tekrar topraklarına kavuşturuyoruz oluştuğu için bu işbirliği çerçevesinde önemli bir sonuca ulaşılmış durumda. US Mission Turkey's Public Diplomacy Section supported the efforts with great pride to welcome these artifacts. The mission had the opportunity to pay respect to the history of Anatolia, which is more than 10,000 years old. We support Turkey's cultural preservation in a number of ways. First, uh, through law enforcement cooperation. Uh, second, uh, we fund a lot of grants. Uh, for people to do excavation and other uh, research. And uh, we, we do a lot of collaborative research as well. Uh, and so it, it's in a number of ways, but we're happy with the cooperation and it has uh, borne a lot of fruit. Combating illicit trafficking of cultural property is not an easy task. But the fact that every decision made at this process helps preserve the history of humankind for next generations makes the real difference. So this is quite important for us uh, to make sure that we prevent this crime together, we cooperate together, and I find this cooperation quite exemplary between Turkey and the United States. Turkish and American officials and experts did their part perfectly and made it happen. The bilateral cultural property agreement between the United States and Turkey and all the connections it helped us build is now a model for the world. Cultural heritage is our connection to the past and it sheds light on our future. It gives us a sense of who we are, but it also needs our help for protection, protection from looting and smuggling. It is our responsibility to keep talking about the importance of preservation of cultural heritage at international, national, local and individual levels and use the tools available for protection across the globe. We have in the world today more than 180 different countries, but these cult these cultural treasures remind us that these countries have far more in common, that 
these objects of our shared past can resonate still and can still offer us hope and a way to see how we can share our cultural diversity and strengthen each of our individual countries through our shared past. Every artifact protected, every cultural heritage site excavated, all the research conducted teaches us the essence of people-to-people -people ties. It is not always simple to bring all parties together to act, but we manage together with our Turkish counterparts at every level with trust, dedication and hard work. We will continue to collaborate with the same level of motivation and do our best to create awareness on protection of cultural heritage and facilitate more repatriations. But uh, I'm especially proud of what these repatriations represent. The U.S. commitment to cultural heritage preservation, our respect for Turkey's cultural heritage, and our ongoing uh, cooperation and partnership with Turkey to ensure that these Anatolian in, uh, antiquities and other unique artifacts have found their way home, back where they belong. In November, uh, I was uh, honored to be here with Minister Orsay uh, for another one of these repatriations. This is the third one we've done. I think we're on a tour uh, here, and it's, it's one of the most fun, most rewarding, and probably longest lasting things I get to do as ambassador from the United States. The United States and Mission Turkey respect cultural heritage. All these artifacts are back in spectacular museums of Turkey, such as Istanbul Archaeology Museums and Antalya Museum, greeting their visitors. Selfies are allowed. Please don't forget to take US Mission Turkey and the Turkish Minister of Culture during your visits to these museums.